So in addition to my main fiber connection that I, I use pretty much all day every day, I've also got a couple of ADSL lines that I use for constant loading, so things like backups, that sort of stuff. Now, they are not particularly quick. I think I'm getting around six or seven megabits from them. They're uh, quite old lines. Now, I came across a device the other day that apparently allows you to load balance between multiple ADSL or broadband connections. Now, I found that quite interesting, so let's have a look at the product here. Here it is. It's, uh, it's a TP-Link product, catchily named TLR470T+. And what it allows you to do is actually load balance between uh, multiple connections. So, firstly, before we have a look at the detail, let's see if it actually works. So, what I'm going to do is just do a speed test on my connection here. Wow, it's obvious when I'm not using my fiber connection. Okay, so let's choose um, the same server. So we'll go for the London Vodafone server. You can see it's not particularly quick. I'm getting 7.2 meg down and, well, three quarters of a meg up. Well, not even that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go turn on this um, load balancing now. So I have one of these connections that runs at about 7 meg. I've got another one that's actually hitting about 5, 5.5. So let me turn on the load balancing and we'll just see what effect that has. So we now have the load balancing enabled. So we have a uh, one broadband connection that hits around seven megabits and probably around 700K upload. I've got another one that hits about five and a half megabits and probably about half a meg upload. It's a really old one. So let's rerun the uh, speed test and see what we get. So I'm gonna make sure I select the same server. So we'll go for London and Vodafone. There we go. there we go all done as you can see it is combining and load balancing the two connections now what's really surprising to me is that I've not noticed any adverse effects of doing this uh, all my media loads work properly Skype and link and you know all, all that sort of good stuff um, and I've certainly felt the benefit in using the uh, the two connections bound together like this so I, I'm really surprised it works so well so what I'll do is I'm going to be using this over the next few days because my fiber has been migrated. Um, so what I'll do is I'll report back on this article if I run into any issues, but it certainly seems pretty good so far. So what we'll do now, um, let's delve into the actual product interface itself and I'll, I'll show you what that's like and what you can actually do in it because it's actually a very powerful platform. So here's the actual main admin interface and you can see on the status that I have two WAN connections. I've got my um, my Sky one and an older BT one. Uh, they're both connected. The IP addresses are there. These are all internal IP addresses, so I don't really mind showing you those. Um, and then we have my internal network as well. So if we have a look under this, under the advanced settings, you'll see that there's loads of control that you can do here. I mean, the one I'm particularly interested in is the load balancing. So and the load balancing, I've turned off the optimization. So what it will do is it'll actually allow you to load balance by source application. Um, so if we hit the help there, you'll see what I mean. So on that mode, for example, any connection from one specific application all, all seems to go out of one particular WAN port. Um, there's another option to enable uh, load balancing by, um, by bandwidth usage or utilization on each port as well. By turning them both off, though, what it allows you to do is actually load balance all your traffic. And like I say, it certainly seems to be effective. Um, lots of other options as well. There's all things for uh, routing by policy, or even you can define backups. So, for example, if I wanted another WAN port, I could. I could add my fiber into this, for example, and load balance across all three. Um, not sure it's particularly relevant to this because I mean the fiber connection is hitting around 120 130 megabits at the moment um, you can also do um, low balance by protocol there's all kinds of stuff so there's some very advanced stuff under NAT as well um, I mean it's actually a very very capable and very very um, easy to configure router I was quite surprised as well certainly when you consider the cost I managed to pick this up for about 40 pounds uh, in sterling um, and considering what it can do, it's very, very capable. All kinds of setup in here. So 
quick setup will allow you to actually do everything I've just done, all the load balancing, very, very simply, very, very easily. All you need to do is define two ports as your WAN ports, so one for each internet connection, um, and then allow it to do that, that load balancing for you. Um, it's as simple as that, and then you plug in, and what you get is a faster load balance connection. Anyway, I'll be using this a bit more over the next few days because uh, my fiber connection has been migrated. So what I'll do is uh, I'll update you and just let you know if I've run into any problems. But I'm, I'm really surprised by this. It's a cheap piece of kit and it seems to really deliver what it promises.